What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, we will be doing a full face of Maybelline first impressions. Now I think that we all know if you're a drugstore junkie like I am, y'all know I love finding a good drugstore brand. And in my opinion, I think Maybelline is one of the best drugstore brands. I don't know, they, I just feel like drugstore brands in general have been stepping it up and Maybelline is one in my opinion that has consistently stepped it up has consistently produced good quality you guys know I love the Maybelline liquid super stay foundation love 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 this I also love the Maybelline master chrome this is like the only highlight I've really been using consistently since I bought it last since I bought it was that last year last year I think Jesus. So I've been using this one for quite a while. So what I did is I actually went to the grocery store and yes, it's the grocery store and basically raided the makeup owl and bought um, six things from Maybelline that I wanted to try. Now these six things are things that I personally have been seeing a lot more of lately and have been seeing people talk about. And so I was like, let me go ahead and try it out and see if it's really worth the hype. So what I picked up is I picked up the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. Now I have been seeing this all over Instagram. So I'm very, very excited to try this out. Um, it's a really, really pretty palette. I love the pink and rosy tones in this one. So. I'll be using this on the eyes. Um, I also picked up, okay, so I also picked up the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. Now, I picked up two shades. I'm not quite sure if I'll use the foundation shade though. Like I picked up the shade Toffee Caramel, which is a shade that I'm in the uh, Liquid Superstay. And then I also picked up the shade Mocha. So Mocha is of course a little bit deeper. Toffee Caramel, of course, is my skin tone. So I picked them both up because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use a stick foundation for all over foundation and for the contour, but I may give it a try all over the face just to see, you know, how it works. I also picked up the Maybelline Master Blur Stick, and this is the shade Universal Transparent. I believe they have like two other tinted uh, blur sticks, but I just got the transparent one because the tinted ones obviously were my skin tone. And it's supposed to be, of course, like a primer to help blur out your pores. Now with this one, I'll definitely have to use a mattifying primer. You guys know that blurring pores and mattifying is two different things. I have to always, always, always have mattifying primer. So I'll definitely put that down first and then go over with the blur stick. The last two goodies I'll be trying is what I'm excited for, you guys. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. Now I'm excited about this one because this is the pen that's supposed to give you that microbladed effect because the way the pen is made is actually has like three prongs sticking up and you're supposed to use it to kind of create natural brow strokes and I got this in the shade medium brown and then last not least I think I've tried this once before in a previous video but I want to pull it back out because I haven't used it since then um and that was only like that was a while ago too, so I figured I'd go ahead and test it with all the other Maybelline goodies. That is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. And it's basically a tinted loose powder. And I know people say really good things about this whenever it comes to setting your hotter areas. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and you know see how it works. And then I think that that is about it. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, first we're gonna be starting off with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint. And it looks like this. So as you can see, it has a bit of like an angled design. And the pen itself, as I mentioned, has like three little prongs. You guys will see it in a second. I guess I'll just go for it. I mean, <laughs> kinda, we'll, just, we'll just try it out. We'll just try it out and see how it works and see if I can make it work. Before I get started, I wanna first go ahead and just brush my brows out. And you guys, I recently got my brows done the other day and look, look at them flourishing. They're trying to, they're trying to get there, trying to, keyword. Let's just try to see if you can go in and make this look good. I wanna kinda tilt it upwards. Yeah, and then do the brow hairs that way. Cause as you can see, my natural brow hairs go up, upwards anyway, so. I'm gonna try to mimic that. This is kinda tricky, okay. That don't look like that's right. Is that right? Maybe when I come here, I can kinda do it downwards maybe. 
guys, that does not look right. I don't know if I'm doing that right. That's kind of tricky to work with. I'm just going to with a brush and just brushing that product through. The shade of the product looks good. I'm just... Now, this is not the product itself. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So it's really, really tricky to work with. So it's like, I don't know if I'm doing it right, you know? It's definitely giving me that microbladed look. Like, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Definitely. It's just, I don't know how to use it. So I don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay, how about this? I'm going to go ahead and first clean out my brow before I go in with anything else. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. And a flat brush and just carve out that brow. This brow definitely looks way better than the other one. I think it's because since I'm a righty, like doing my left brow is much easier than doing my right. But first impressions, I really, really like it. It's just a bit of a learning curve. That's just what I'm what I'm noticing with it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids with some shadow primer okay guys so here is the maybelline lemonade craze palette i love 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 these tones for the summer now i'm kind of playing it by ear so i don't really have a particular look in mind at the moment but we'll come up with something make something happen <laughs> first i'm gonna go in with the shade sweet tea down here which is a really pretty rosy mauvey tone i'm gonna take a big blending brush and apply that, okay, so first and foremost, just to know it is a little bit powdery, as you guys can see, down there. I'm going to take it and apply that to my crease area. I think I may do a halo eye. I haven't done a halo eye in so long. So I feel like since I'm, you know, trying to step out of my comfort zone, I may go ahead and just do like a halo eye and really make that center pop. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Lemonade Craze, which is this really pretty matte yellow. You guys see that powder? Everything everywhere. So definitely to note that this palette is powdery, but it is also a drugstore. So, I mean, you know, I've had high-end palettes do that. So just be cognizant of that. Supplying that in the crease, but I can tell you on me, Lemonade Craze is not really showing up. As you can see, that yellow is not even close to popping up. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I feel like Lemonade Craze made my eyes look so ashy. So I'm not a fan of that color at all. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more Sweet Tea and cover that color up because Lemonade Craze was not for me. Is this smell? Oh my gosh, it's this smell. I just realized I'm sitting here smelling something. I'm like, what is that smell? It smells so good. It smells like oranges. <laughs> Very citrusy. So I'm going to go in with Coral Punch now and see if that'll pick up on my skin tone. Okay, so no. Um, let's just try Ice Pop. So, so far we have two colors that didn't work on my skin. Lemonade Craze and what was that? Coral Punch. But this color here is really pretty. Ice Pop. And as you can see, I'm just applying that into the crease and blending it out. And I am using a Morphe M139 brush. But look at this. You guys see how powdery that is? It's like getting everywhere. I'm going to now go in and actually carve the lid before I do anything else. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. Kind of just focus this right in the center. Let's take Old Fashioned first. This is like a deep plum. And this helps kind of blend in those outer edges. I'm just packing it onto the outer corner, the inner and outer corner, and then it's blending it inwards into where we apply that concealer. I hate messy palettes. Like, I hate palettes that you have to be ready to clean up after. You guys see all of that? I don't know, man. Now, I'm going to take my brush, spray it with some setting spray, and then I'm going to go with the shade Citrus. It appears to be a soft pink metallic shade with a hint of gold glitter in it. Ooh, that pigment is bomb. So I would typically apply a mattifying primer before I applied the blur stick. But um, for today's video, I kind of want to just apply the blur stick on its own just to really see how it works and if it really does a good job of really blurring. So I'm going to take the blur stick here and apply that to the areas where my pores are the largest, which is down here in the lower cheek area. Okay, and then use my finger to blend it in and press it into the skin. I kind of like that. I think it did definitely help to blur them out. They're not completely gone, which I don't really use anything that completely, you know, 
blurs them all together, but looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the stick foundation. Okay, just to see how it acts all over. So this is the shade Toffee Caramel. And it is full coverage, or supposed to be full coverage. So you obviously don't get very much product, which I'm not a huge fan of. And this foundation, you guys, is $10. So again, not expensive, but I think that it's also not a lot of product for $10, in my opinion. It's definitely cheap, but you also don't get a lot of product with it either. So just be cognizant of that. I'm gonna just go ahead and blend this in with a Morphe M439 brush. So off the bat, in my opinion, on Grancy guys, I do have blemishes, so that could be the reason why. But I don't think this is full coverage. And I also didn't swipe it everywhere, so that also could be the reason why. Maybe I need more swipes to get a full coverage. That could be it. Because you see under here, I still have those spots there. Around my mouth is kind of, you know, noticeable as well. I'm going to go with a little bit of the liquid one and kind of supply kind of supply that in the areas that are still missing some coverage now I will note that that stick foundation is so lightweight I can barely feel it on my skin which is so cool see you see how the liquid one got me together so in my opinion as far as my own personal use goes I'll I definitely prefer the liquid over the foundation. As I mentioned, the stick one is very lightweight, um, but in my opinion, the reason why people get the Super Stay is because it is full coverage. And as we just saw, the stick foundation wasn't really that full of coverage. Um, it was, to me, it's more medium. It's probably buildable, so it's probably a medium to full buildable coverage, but, but just because I've used so many full coverage foundations, you know, I know what full coverage. <laughs> should look like. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Golden. You guys know I have been loving this concealer. It's so bomb. Okay, I'm gonna blend this out. Love. Alrighty, I'm gonna now take the Mocha Foundation Stick. Now this time I decided to try for for contouring. And just contour my little heart out. And I typically don't cream contour. And whenever I do, I don't go too crazy. And let's just see how it blends out with just a PB blender or a blending sponge. Ooh, okay, so blending wise, blends out so easy. Yeah, that's blending out really well. So I can tell already that I really like this one for contouring. That looks really good. And that was like very minimal effort. As you can see, I am blending it upwards. Sometimes I'm using motions to blend it up into the concealer. Okay, so mocha for contour, I love. Okay, so now to set the highlight, I'm gonna take the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. So you guys saw the drill, blend out those creases before you apply the powder. And this is the color that you get for light medium. Again, blend out those creases. This, in my opinion, is like the perfect setting color for me. You guys see it? It has a little bit of a yellow or maybe a little bit of a peach undertone, actually. It has a little bit of a peach undertone. But it's not too bright at all, you guys, so I don't like super bright highlights. Okay, so we'll see how that sets, but so far, so good. I actually really like the shade of this color. And I also love how finely milled it is because I feel like it also helps to assist in blurring out those pores. I don't have a Maybelline product for this, but just my normal MAC powder that I use. Okay, gonna also go ahead and bronze up the skin just a little bit more. And I honestly don't have to do that much work because of that cream foundation we used earlier at Mocha you know, did most of the work for us already. Okay, for blush, I'm taking this orange blush from NYX. This is an oldie. Can't forget the highlights. I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. One of my all-time faves. I'm actually slowly hitting pan here in the center. That shows you guys how much I use it. Okay, so for lips, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to do a coral shade or a pink shade. 
but I think I want to do here's pink here's coral I think I want to do coral but for lip liner I'm gonna take my MAC cherry lip liner it is a red but I think that the red and the coral will correlate really well together since I do have the pink on the lid or in the crease and now I'm going with the Milani craze liquid lipstick one of my favorite coral shades so pretty I love the shade oh I like that yep that's the pop that this look needed for the waterline I'm gonna take the LA girl glide gel liner in the shade champagne and just pop that in the waterline I feel like this look needs um, you know some white or like a lighter shade in the waterline just to really brighten up the look and really open up my eyes and of course go back into that palette that we used before and take the shade ice pop just smudge this along the lower lash line plain blending brush and blend that out I think I want to take the shade Strawberry Lemonade here, another pretty metallic shade. Pop that in the inner corner. A little bit on the lower lash line. Okay, and those are our eyes. I think I used everything, the foundation sticks, the blur stick, the powder, the brow tint. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with setting spray just to make sure that everything is nice and skin-like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes off camera and fix my hair and all that good stuff. And I will be right back with the final look. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and applied my falsies off camera. For lashes, I'm using the Dodo Lashes in the style D105. I wanted to go ahead and add just like a little pop of metallic in the center of my lips. I think my lips too flat for my personal taste like I could have just left it alone but y'all know me I'm a little bit extra so I want to apply a little bit of highlighter this is a Maybelline Masterchrome highlighter and apply a little bit of this to my lips with my fingers and you guys and once you have gone ahead and done all of that here is the final look and I feel like this pink and gold halo eye paired with this coral lip is like the perfect look for summer so I hope you guys enjoyed this look um, before I go ahead and end the video I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on the products just with having used them one time if like first impressions are always good um, and I will tell you if I will keep or return the products I'm not gonna lie you guys I'm the type of person that if I don't like it I have no problem returning it I'm not a hoarder at all so first up we have the foundation sticks I'm sure you guys can guess my thoughts on this um, this will be going back this is the toffee caramel foundation stick this will be going back just because I already have the super stay and as I mentioned plenty of times before I really really love the liquid one to me the liquid one is way better I'm definitely keeping the mocha foundation stick however now as I mentioned before I don't cream contour that often I typically only do it if I'm going out for the night and if I'll be taking pictures with flash but I still love it. I loved how easy it blended out. I love the shade of it for my skin tone. Honestly, just worked perfectly. The blur stick, I did like. I have to try it a couple more times. I actually may do like a comparison between the Tarte Clean Slate on one side and then the blur stick on the other side. But in my opinion, for the price of it, I think it's a pretty good blur stick. Again, it didn't completely vanish my pores, but I feel like this paired with the loose fit me powder um really really did a good job of kind of just helping to diminish the appearance of those pores if that makes sense and i'll definitely be keeping the fit me loose light medium i just really like the tone and the shade of this powder you know it's not too bright at all um perfect to you know brighten or lift those areas that i typically highlight um and just a really good powder so i love 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 this one as far as the lemonade craze palette goes to be honest, I'll probably return it. And the reason why is because I hate messy palettes. Second thing is, is I don't think all the shades are women of color friendly. As you guys saw, um, like Lemonade Craze, Coral Punch didn't work, Berry Ice didn't work. Um, so mainly the matte shades, in my opinion, didn't quite work for my skin tone. Maybe if I had used like a lighter base, like maybe like a white eyeshadow base, it would work. Maybe, but in my opinion, I don't ever do that and I don't want to have to go and buy something to make a palette work. But I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of it, if that makes sense. And last but not least is the brow pen. Now this I definitely like and will definitely keep. Again, it's honestly just a learning curve. It's I love the shade of this one. I think that the medium brown fits perfectly with my skin tone and with my hair. Um, and I honestly love that 
micro bladed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions of all of the Maybelline goodies and enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in my next video.